guys, welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward and we've got a special guest in studio today. This girl got her start singing on the internet, earning more than 35 million YouTube views. And fast forward to now, I mean, she's producing top singles on Radio Disney's hot list. <laughs> Savannah Ooten is in the studio. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Yay, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me, I'm really excited. Of course, well, we asked our fans and your fans mm -hmm. uh, to give us some questions for you and here's what they came up with. Ooh, okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, we're going to start right out with what's your most embarrassing or unforgettable moment on stage? Oh. They're just going right at it. Well, well awesome. <laughs> okay, I have two. Uh, one was in, oh, where was it? Oh, uh, New York. Okay, right. Okay. New York, I was singing one of my songs, uh, and it's called Friends. So, you know, I'm rocking out, and I have my guitar, er, my guitar in my hand. I have my microphone in my hand, and I'm singing, and all of a sudden, um, I, I bang my head on the microphone and my lip. You know, it started turning really bad, and I stopped singing, and I start laughing because, you know, it's funny, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I touch my lip, and I'm bleeding really bad, and I'm like... Uh, and so I, ha you know, of course I have to keep going. Mm -hmm. The show must go on. And so it was kind of really embarrassing. And, you know, everyone in the audience was laughing. But so they did notice. It wasn't oh, they just noticed. You noticed. Well, yeah, they noticed because I'm singing in the middle of my song. And then all of a sudden, you know, there's no singing. And they're just oh, like, Where, wait. And then they, you know, realized that my, my lip is bleeding. But there was also another time, um, it was in Ohio. And I had a water bottle right by the microphone. And mm -hmm. I decided to take a drink and I put it down and it spills everywhere on these like little fans and I was I felt so oh terrible no. so like throughout the show like when I'd be singing I'd be like sorry <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad but luckily I haven't had too many embarrassing mm -hmm. moments and hopefully no more hopefully no, no more are in the works yeah um, they, they, they tell good stories, though, that's my chance. Yeah, that's yeah. true, that's true. <laughs> All right, another question that a fan had is, what advice do you have for aspiring singers and songwriters? Um, to never, ever give up. Um, I always say that, but if I would have given up like two years ago, I wouldn't be where I am today. So mm -hmm. just follow your dreams, never give up, and definitely to uh, make sure it's something you're really passionate about, something that you feel like you could do forever. Um, and I've never been asked uh, for advice for like a songwriter, but mm -hmm. um, pretty much to do the same thing and write as many songs as you can, I think just to keep practicing at what you love. And uh, I wish you the best of luck if that's something you want to do. If someone has trouble coming up with inspiration, where should they look? Um, I think just to be surrounded, like with music, uh, mm -hmm. to be surrounded with, by singers and um, talented songwriters. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's my advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, what is your all-time favorite song? From all any artist, all-time favorite song. Ah, uh, there's so much like good music in the world. <laughs> I don't have to one. Uh, I love "Come Together" by The Beatles, mm -hmm. and um, "Chemicals React" by Ally and AJ. I like a lot of The Fray. Mm -hmm. Never say never. Um, who else? A Fine Frenzy. I love. I love her. Her song um, "Near to You" is amazing. So yeah, just I, I love a lot of different styles of music. And what about your favorite song of yours that you sang? Uh, right now, it's a song that I can't share with you, but it's pretty cool. And Insider <laughs> Info, no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I can't it's tell you. It's coming up. It's, yes. It's coming up. It's coming up. And okay. then I have a song called Friends, and I wrote it about my best friend Kendra and her boy problems. It's about like you're in a relationship with this guy, and then you break up, and you don't want to be friends with him anymore. You know, you don't want to be just friends. It's the, the main hooks, I don't want to be your friend. No, you're the one who ended. What was so good? So, yeah. Oh my gosh, maybe <laughs> I want you to like sing it right now. Oh, <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Speaking of boys, Ooh. who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush. Multiple people wanted to know, by the way. Okay. <laughs> well, can I name multiple guys? Yes. Well, cool. Okay. It's hard to choose a favorite. It right? is. It's hard to choose favorites for anything. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Okay, Adam Brody is probably number one. Ooh. He is so, so cute, and I fell in love with him on the OC. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Ryan Sheckler. Ryan Sheckler is very mm. cute, and he's a great skateboarder, so that's a plus. Um, Robert Pattinson, you know, he's pretty cute. I really like Chase Crawford. Um, <laughs> I'm like naming all of these people. Like, oh, I know, I'm oh, Justin Timberlake, I forgot. Oh, Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Justin Timberlake, um, he is simply amazing and so talented. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually met him one time at the Nike employee store. And what? he called me a sweetheart. He called me a sweetheart. Oh, you are a sweetheart. But I'm only, I was only but 10 years old. you're his sweetheart. I'm his sweetheart. And he called oh. my friend I was with uh, like a sweetie pie. But I think a heart's better than a pie because a heart, you know, is something you love and a pie is just something you eat. Yeah. So I think that he liked me more. And a heart is eternal. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? California. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Oh, and are California. you thinking about coming out here anytime oh, yes. soon? Oh, yes. It's definitely the number one conversation at the dinner table with my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Well, Angeles, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I got. I got to be positive. It's got. It's. It's gonna happen. It's just a matter of timing. But it's just so amazing out here, and it's so sunny mm -hmm. and pretty, and there's a lot of palm trees, and I just really like it. And it's the place to be for music. Exactly. Right? You know, I'm in Oregon, and when I need to be somewhere or um, I get invited to an event, mm -hmm. I have to be like, oh well, you know, I'm in Oregon. I have to fly down there first, and then sometimes it's too late. So. Yeah, I, I really would like to be in California. Well, we would love to have you here, and I think a lot of fellow fans would Ooh. love it if you came down to California. Um, a lot of people were asking about your um, your fashion and what you wear, uh -huh. and they wanted to know where you get your inspiration for your outfits. Ooh, Ooh. Uh, let's see. I love Rachel Bilson style. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge The OC fan. Yeah, so I was just gonna say. I love OC. Rachel Bilson, Misha Barton. Um, the OC is my favorite TV show ever, and I'm so upset that it got taken off air. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's what the DVDs are for. Um, but yeah, Rachel Bilson and Misha Barton, and I really like Ashley Tisdale style. Mm -hmm. She can definitely rock like the plain tees and the, the skinny legs with the holes. And, mm -hmm. So are you more of into like the most current trends versus like having a classic style? Uh, not What's necessarily. Your thing? I really like um, vests and holy jeans, and Free People is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So anything from Free People. Um, but I also like the more um, classy look, like the, the boyfriend blazer jackets yeah. and like button up um, shirts and and uh, like the more dressy pants. Mm -hmm. So I guess what, whatever mood I'm in or what event I'm going to, obviously I'm not going to wear jeans to like a Grammy or something. <laughs> when you accept that Grammy of yours, you won't be wearing jeans. No. <laughs> Gosh, that would be amazing. Even to be nominated. Oh, yeah. Be cool. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm sure it's in your cards. Um, now, another fan wanted to know what are the best and worst parts about being recognized. Oh. And are there are there good and bad things? Um, the good thing. Oh, well, it's so cool. I mean, it's so cool to like meet your fans. Um, because obviously, I mean, they're the ones that are supporting you and the reason you're where you are. Mm -hmm. So I love meeting my fans. Um, the only one bad thing is if I'm not ready to be <laughs> noticed, you know, like if I'm not dressed the part, like if I'm like just got out of bed or something, <laughs> that's kind of like not the best time. But, you know, I usually have like a pair of sunglasses in my purse I can just whip Ooh, on if I have on. like no makeup on. But um, but no, it's really cool to s see and meet my fans in different strange places. I met a fan in the bathroom once. Mm -hmm. You wanna explain that? Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> no, it was at the Teen Choice, I mean, no, 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 uh, the Kids' Choice Awards. Oh, okay. The Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Well, that makes sense It does then. make sense, but it was just <laughs> awkward, you know? It was in the bathroom. <laughs> and, and Washing your hands, hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I, I just got out of the stall, and she was kind of just standing in front of the um, 
the, the door. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> but you're really open to meeting your fans. Of and you course. love meeting your fans, I wherever it might fans. be, right? Wherever, I don't care where it is. <laughs> Even if it's in the bathroom, <laughs> say hello. You're there, say hi. <laughs> Can you tell us what you're working on right now? Yeah, uh, right Bring now. Bring us up to date. Okay, well. I recorded a song for the Tinkerbell CD, and it's called A Greater Treasure Than a Friend. Um, I also recorded a song for Disney Mania 7. It's a CD where Disney artists um, do their own take on like a old fashioned song mm -hmm. from like a cartoon. A Nickel I mean a Disney. A, <laughs> a Disney, Disney, yeah. A Disney movie. Mm -hmm. um, so, so what did you sing for that? Uh, I don't know if I want to say. Okay. I kind of want to keep it a secret. Okay, because, so we'll just have to look out for you it. You will, you will. But it's a song that no one has ever done before. I wanted to make Ooh. sure that it was a song that no one, you know, has mm -hmm. done their own take on. So um, I was very excited that I got to pick a song that <gasps> That's exciting. was like a first. But yeah, it's, it's a really cool song. I'm really happy about it. And I am so, so, so excited for the fans to hear it. Okay, well, we will definitely have to look out for yes, that. Yes, Disney Mania 7. It comes out uh, in November, I think. Okay, great. And do you want to give a quick shout out to fans? I do. They would love to hear from you. Okay. So go for it. Hi, fans. It's me, Savannah. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. Um, I love you guys and hope to see you at uh, future shows coming up. And um, yeah, you guys are the reason I'm here sitting being interviewed by Clever TV, so thank you guys, and uh, hope to see all of you guys soon. Well, thank you thank for coming you for in. You are fabulous. Thank you. Um, best of luck, and definitely next time you're in LA, when you move here, you're going to come back to Clever TV, right? I am. Of course. Okay. I will come anytime. Okay, great. And uh, thanks to you guys for um, submitting all of your questions for Miss Savannah. Yes, thank you. And thanks for watching the Q&A session with Radio Disney's Savannah Ooten. Bye, guys.